In this video, we're going to talk about whether HCl, that's hydrochloric acid, is soluble or insoluble in water. And this is important because we use HCl in chemistry all the time. So you're going to see this hydrochloric acid here quite frequently. The first thing I would say is it's probably good to memorize this list of strong acids here. These will all dissociate completely in water. So if we put a strong acid in water, it's going to break apart into its ions. That means it's going to be soluble. And here's our hydrochloric acid, HCl, right here. So this list here tells us that all these strong acids, they're going to be soluble in water. Let's think about that for a second. So for HCl, the only way you're going to have just HCl, pure HCl, is if it's a gas. So we could take HCl as a gas. And if we put that in water, we said it's going to dissociate completely, break apart into its ions. So it's going to break apart into H plus and then Cl minus. Those are the ions that are involved. And these ions, they're going to be dissolved in the water. Sometimes you'll see people write H2O up here over the arrow to show you're dissolving it in water. Either way, but because they're dissolved in water, we're going to write a little AQ after them. That means aqueous, dissolved in water. So we can see that HCl gas, we bubble it through water and it's soluble, breaks apart into these ions. We should note that this H+, plus, quite often, that'll be written as H3O+. Plus. That's because the H+, plus, that joins with the H2O, we get H3O+. Plus. This is called the hydronium ion. So sometimes you'll see H+, plus, but if you see the H3O+, plus, they're really the same thing. One last thing. If you have a container of hydrochloric acid, it says HCl concentrated on the side, and it's a liquid, only about 38% 40% of that is going to be really HCl. The rest will be water. So any time you have a liquid and it says HCl, that is considered an aqueous solution. It can be made a little bit more concentrated, but we start having to pressurize and cool and do all these other things. So HCl as a liquid, you're not going to see that. It's always going to be aqueous. So in answer to our question, HCl is soluble in water like the other strong acids probably a good idea to memorize these strong acids it makes chemistry a lot easier. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.